Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Starting off the week, late in the day, stopping by you pool and pay, checking on a couple of parts, see what they dropped down here. And I already seen Buster Brown's vehicle here. So he must have came here straight from work. Another 960 popped up in the junkyard for me. I'm going to get the sunroof. Friday we're having a 50% off sale for the Facebook fans. So I'll be getting that and a few other things 50% off. Let me go see where Buster Brown is doing. I'm bringing my sister's Honda Accord in 2005 for the airbag recall. I was pretty surprised that I was able to get a appointment within two three business days. They actually have a separate office set up for the airbag recall. So I'm waiting for somebody to come in here and meet with me. I must say that I'm extremely surprised that uh, it doesn't appear that everybody's getting this recall done. If you know somebody that falls under this Takata, I believe it is, airbag recall, encourage them to come get this done. This is really a dangerous situation. Airbags are deploying um, by random. The ones that are deploying in accidents and by random, some of them have what they call shrap metal in them. And if you know anything about uh, war veterans, a lot of their injuries and, and lifelong problems are a result of shrap metal injuries. So you don't want uh, any of your loved ones hurt with airbag shrap metal. Encourage them to get in and get those Honda and other vehicle re recalls completed. It's a free service. They replace the uh, airbags with ones that will not uh, cause you that kind of harm and it should be done as soon as possible. This is a piston out of a Honda, possibly a Cord, yeah, out of a V6 motor. As you can see, it has two sets of rings on the pistons. The rings have a slot in them. They are also uh, kind of spring-loaded on the piston so that when they're sitting inside the cylinder wall, they kind of spring out and ride along the cylinder wall. And this is basically the oil seal portion. It has a couple little slots to just let a little bit of pressure by or oil by. Then you have two sets of the rings on the pistons. Here you have the wrist pin that the piston kind of pivots on onto the rod and if that wrist pin gets wear in it you'll hear a little bit of piston slap in the motor it'll knock a little bit on the bottom of the rod you have uh, the part that the crank sits in there and this here is actually a bearing a lot of people think that it's a different kind of roller bearing, but they're not. They're almost like shims that ride on the crank and on the other side of the lower end of the rod. And when these wear, you'll get knocking in your engine. But it's better for these to wear than for your crank and your rods to wear. Okay, I just got a call. The vehicle's ready for pickup. The whole process of having a recall done was 45 minutes. So just schedule your appointment, get that uh, recall done on those airbag replacements. They replaced the one in the steering wheel and the one behind the glove box. So please, please, please have that done and look at the link in the about comments to see how many vehicles were affected by it. And all you have to do is call the dealership, give them the VIN number of the vehicle that you have and they'll tell you about that recall, whether the vehicle's affected, and if there's any other recalls that affects the vehicle that have not been completed. This is your transmission cooler that's incorporated in the end of your radiator. So your radiator doesn't have lines that go across from one side to the other and back. It just has this in the end cap of it. So you would benefit from a trans cooler external. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. 
You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.